series of electronic messaging devices exploded across Lebanon on Tuesday, September 17, 2024, injuring at least 2,700 people and killing at least 8 to 10. The Iranian ambassador, Motaba Amani, who was in the country at the time, was amongst the injured. According to a post on Twitter, his wounds were described as superficial. However, not everyone has been so lucky. 200 people are reported as being in critical condition, with at least eight people reported to have been killed in this attack, including a young girl and two brothers. Mohammed Mahdi, the son of Ali Amar, a Hezbollah member of parliament, was also killed, according to the National News Agency. Hezbollah has stated that they believe that the Zionist state of Israel to be behind this. Prior to this attack, they had handed out pagers to its members believing that the Zionists could use their cell phones to track and monitor them. Lebanese officials have ordered the public to avoid using handheld communication devices out of concern for potential future attacks. The ministry requests all citizens who own wireless communication devices to stay away from them until the truth of what is happening is revealed, the health ministry said. While it has yet to be confirmed, nobody else has claimed responsibility for this attack, which I find rather odd. If this was an attack by a jihadist group, they would have said something by now immediately. Not only that, many of these organizations don't have the capacity to carry out an attack on this scale. This type of an attack requires detailed coordination and resources that would go far beyond the command of a simple Islamist group. This requires pinpoint precision that would only be... Ca be capable of being carried out by a sovereign government or military organization. This is why I am led to believe that, that this is the Zionist state. I'm led to agree with Lebanese officials and Hezbollah in that belief. Now, the U.S. State Department has denied any involvement and seemingly may have been kept out of the loop, according to Matt Miller, a spokesman for the State Department. If that is truly to be believed, assuming that this isn't some coordinated effort by the Zionist state and their Western imperialist allies, this would be a major blow to trust between the U.S. and Israel, not to mention a serious breakdown in shared details and communication. Not only that, an attack like this on a sovereign foreign power who, up until this point, has not had any direct engagement in the ongoing conflict could pull them into a wider regional war against them, which I do not believe the Zionist state nor their Western allies want or are prepared for. This also lends more legitimacy to the Iranian state to enter the conflict on the side of their Hezbollah allies. It seems to me the Zionist state in their attempt to launch a coordinated revenge attack against Hezbollah may have bit off a bit more than they can chew. Solidarity to the victims and their families, solidarity to our brothers and sisters in Lebanon, and solidarity to the Hezbollah freedom fighters. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time. Thank you for watching. If you like news and politics from a leftist perspective, true crime, or informational videos on leftist philosophy and pagan belief practices, and would like to support the channel, please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. Even a few bucks really helps me out. All links are provided in the description. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share on various social media. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I put out content regularly, so you will always get quite a bang for your buck.